Hello. It's me. Should I have like background music for this? Or no? Oh, then fucking email only mode. Sub only mode, sure. Doesn't matter. Just give me a second. We're basically going to go through the entire uh, documents. And we'll just go by point by point. Some of it I won't be able to like show on stream, so you should probably like have it up on the side if you care. So you can see what I'm talking about when I can't show it. Is it okay to pin stuff like that? Like what? Well, the person that made this document is either incompetent or malicious. It's a bit hard to tell. But you'll see what I mean once we start going through it. Is it okay to pen stuff like that? Shh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, but I'm sure people can find the link. If you can't, then I don't know. We'll wait for people to join first, and then we'll start. You can find it on Twitter. It's not too hard. Don't sub to me. <laughs> this is serious stuff.
So basically the only reason I'm even doing this is because for my team. If it was just me and no one else was affected at all, I probably wouldn't care at all. But because it affected my team, that's the main reason I'm doing this. Because I feel really bad for them. There's probably like enough people. Yeah, it's in sub only. I don't want the chat to get spammed. Hey, let me post on Twitter that I'm doing this real quick. Just so people know. Slow mode? I don't think we need slow mode. It's fine. Or turn it on. Whatever. I'm always mellow. How do I unprivate my account? Go to settings. Oh, I see. One sec, guys. Okay, it should be unprivated now. People were just spamming me constantly. So basically this doc is just literally copy-pasted from a log how thread. So most of it is just literally copy and pasted. But let's go through it. Just gotta make sure I don't show like bad words. So make it banned. Yeah, I'll tweet first. One sec. Okay, I think we're ready.
Ir laiska to šeinās. Okay. Here we are, everyone can see it. Confirm. I'm sorry to add, so I'm trying to delay them, but they're going to play no matter what. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just read this first part. I'm going to skip the leak stuff first because it doesn't really matter compared to the rest of this. <laughs> the important stuff is this. This also stuff doesn't like, really matter, but we can go back to it after if people care. Yeah, I'm gonna be really careful, so I'm gonna have to like keep moving it, like, you know. Since so, so Vinka has been involved in many internet communities in the past decade, called out for several times for toxic, harmful, and dangerous behaviors. Once you've seen all the evidence, <laughs> it will become apparent that this individual who has severe problems does not have any place in the leak community or any online community due to the harm that they have attempted or caused to others. Svinga has gone under many names, including Svinga, Piety, Sosal, Natalie, and Chara. Now they missed a name here, which is going to make you think interesting things later. So just keep that in mind. For clarity purposes, I will always be referring to Masavinka, but remember that you're seeing this as the same person being discussed. I just want to be careful because this part has like the racism part. So this is the very first thing they show. Men are inferior to women, prove me wrong. I don't know why they put this here. It doesn't really matter. I looked at the context of it. It didn't matter. It's just me posting and he posts this at me like we're friends or we used to be. This is a smite player. Like who cares? I don't know why they put that there. It's a shit post. Second thing is they put this, which is me saying my names. So these are like usernames I've gone by, Chara, Piety, Emini, Svinka, Root, and whatever. I guess they put this here to like show that they're me. Again, they missed another name, which a lot of what they use as evidence against me is not here. And you'll see that in a bit. So I have to close this part. One sec. So this is where you'd pull it up on the side, by the way. Because it has bad words. So the first evidence they post is me saying the N-word on 4chan six years ago. Which I did. I did actually say the N-word. I used to say a lot of pretty edgy shit. Because it's 4chan. I obviously don't say it now. I haven't said like any bad words like that or any slurs to anyone in a very long time. But yes, I did in the past say those words of a notepad. Why? And then under it says, Svinka claims to be Russian and Korean, but using the N word, self explanatory. Yes, I said the N word. I don't anymore. The second post, I think I can show this. They use this as Islamophobia. There's like, whatever all this fucking shit is. First of all, I don't know if it really is Islamophobic. Second of all, <laughs> it's not me. And we'll get to that later on. 
But there it is. Okay, so Blue Bear Challenge. So Vika's email address, this is on our Twitch description, Blue Whale Cold, that is my email address. This is related to a Russian online phenomenon called Blue Whale Challenge, which encourages others to complete tasks leading up to self-harm and eventual suicide. And then right here, they admit it, it was a hoax. It never really existed. Zvinka's evidence-based history of pressuring others to self-harm is fully aware of the implications of Blue Whale. Okay, so I have links for this. We'll do number one. Blue Whale, the Wikipedia page that they link themselves. In the link, the piece was later criticized an attempt of a casual link where none existed and none of the suicides were found to be a result of the group activities. Claims of suicide here to the game have been proven, have been reported worldwide, but none have been confirmed. So first of all, Blue Whale doesn't even exist. To be, fuck off. Doesn't even exist. The only times it's even like, sort of exists is because there are people that do like copycat, like groups, like willing it into existence because of all of the like media attention it got. So that's the first thing. Now I named my email Blue Whale Cult. So some people, I guess, think it's a cult because of that. But Blue Whale is just the name of my fucking server. And it was a reference to it. That's just because I was edgy and I liked it. It was an interesting phenomenon at the time for me. I mean, it's still pretty interesting how a game that didn't even exist rolled itself into existence because of all the people talking about it. I thought that was interesting. So I named the server after it. The reason I added cult was because I'm an Eldritch VTuber and worshippers of a, you know, they'd be in a cult. It's just, it's literally just a name. This is very uh, poor evidence, in my opinion. Anyways, here they link the fucking Blue Bow Challenge. Here's number two, or whatever number this is. So here they link a screenshot of my Discord of me talking about Kaliak, which I think is... Let me make sure this is safe. Yes, I think it's safe. Which mentions Kaliak, which is an online cult, or was. doesn't exist anymore. And I guess this is proof that I'm a part of it, but they conveniently left out all the context of it, which I still have. It's in my fucking server, where we were just talking about online cults. So let me pull it up real quick. So here we are, my Discord. Here's the exact place that they uh, got the screenshot from. And here we are talking about Kaliak. See, he already has a cult anyway. It's called Kaliak. Ever heard of it? Clearly a joke, given the context of everything here. I call it deep lore. I'm going, like, we're talking about it. Same people run it. I say no. They were very similar projects. They're both pretty similar cult like groups. And we're just literally talking about it. But conveniently, the person who took the screenshot and then the person that made this document decided to leave that out completely. Here's Mia, which is relevant later on. And the one that made Remilia Corporation, which is the group that Kaliak later becomes. So 
So here's the context of that. Now here's the man, I don't know. So this is a random like Instagram screenshot of someone called Naya B, who randomly decides to put my name in here, Piety Chara, etc. And they say I'm part of a Kaliak, because it's part of a Kaliak Expose. Let me make sure this is safe under here. Okay, it is. But this is just made up. And I have proof of it. So one sec. The only reference to me ever being a part of Kayak is this Instagram and a random person on Reddit who made it count the day of the post. Let's see, they might link to it actually. I think it's later on. The person organized this is like just really dumb. One sec. Here's a Reddit that Rhodes mentioned. Kaliak, a new obscure cult on Instagram and Twitter based on racism and pro animal beliefs. So everyone that's saying, like, I'm racist and stuff like that, it all comes from this, the Kaliak shit, which I had nothing to do with. So here we go. The only mention of me in this entire Reddit post three years ago. Is this person? One of the main ones, Sonia, used to go by Patty and Chara. Interesting how that's a uh, similar typing, but who knows? If you look them up, you'll find some history on them. This is the only reference to me in this. This. And that one Instagram, which we'll look at in a second. This is the person that said it. Just a random throwaway account. There's only two posts are this. <laughs> Very suspicious. Happens during the exact time that there's a group happened to also have drama. But anyway, we'll go look at the Instagram, which is gone. But there's a different one. So here's an idea. Kaliak situation is where they got this screenshot from. It's all about exposing Kaliak and all their drama that they had. which I had nothing to do with because I was never a part of them. But regardless, there's this. Once it loads. This account is re-uploading a lot deposit. Information from Hello Kitty Razor Blade. I am not Hello Kitty Razor's ever now. They're claiming to have been an experiment conducted by Kaliak. And the account itself, before they claimed to be an experiment, was a pro anti anti-Semitism, self-harm, encouraging cult. So first of all, none of this it's potentially even real. And second of all, it's just a random Instagram with a bunch of random shit that just randomly claims that. With no other reference to me being in it. But I have more proof later, so that's fine. But we'll continue. Let me make sure this is safe. Okay, there's a screenshot of me being piety and a very pretended not to be piety. I've been very open about my past names and everything I've done. I am, I was piety at one point. It's the name I used to go by. Was Instagram sources? There wasn't any. As for most of these, <laughs> there isn't any sources. But regardless, yes, I am piety. Here I am saying, do I do with Patty? I'm making reference to the past because people bring it up, but I've never hidden it. I do make jokes about it. Okay, this is safe. Da, da, da. All right. Here's a random person on, I guess, Twitter saying from fucking 2017, also the era of when I was the most notorious for saying edgy shit. 
say that they cut it for me. Of course, they don't prove it or anything. They just say it. Like most of these. Here's another one. Here's me saying it, that they should cut for me. Again. And then, wow, it's me whenever I think she shows my Twitter connection. Oh, this is pretty recent. I remember cutting her name onto my arm. Again. They don't prove it. For some reason. It's just a random anonymous person on image board saying shit. Okay, so what do we have here? It's safe. I used the face smile with a finger person. And they were sad and pathetic, sorry. And they encouraged people to carve an image of this guy. I don't know if it's to do or not. But they definitely were insane to be a mediocre smile player. And to supposedly X challenger player. Yeah, right, this person is fake as fuck. So this is just a random text blob with no context, also anonymous, and they obviously use 4chan because they use the arrows, and they're just saying it, and they don't back up their claim at all. And then we have two more of these, also anonymous 4chan posts. It's a 4chan arrow, the meme arrow. This person's claiming that they're a former friend and that I manipulated them into cutting, making them cut themselves or something. You guys can read it. Some of this I can't say. And that a group of Discord people berated them to do it. Again, it's just people on an anonymous board just saying it and they conveniently don't prove it yet again. Same with this one, claiming they're a friend of mine. Also, these are four years ago and six years ago. This person also claiming they're my friend. And they did the same thing. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay, this one's really edgy. I think it's still fine to show on the stream. I th well, I actually don't know if this is... <laughs> Basically, it's me just being as edgy as fucking possible, saying that killing stuff turns me on and I like I masturbate to it. Basically, obviously, I'm trying to be as edgy as possible, and I never actually did any of it. Because if I did, there would have been any proof at all, it was all just for shock and for attention on an anonymous board. And I was just trying to make a name for myself, so I said a whole bunch of really edgy shit as much as possible. Should I have done it? No. But I did. Okay, so is this safe? I don't think this is safe to show, actually. Okay, so if you're following along, you'll see it. They post a link of... How do I open this? It's not like showing it. One sec. It's a link of a person like scratching my piety name into their arm, and then a random image of someone cutting themselves, and then an image of someone cutting the name Natalie into their arm, and then lastly, Someone writing in Sharpie. Piety. Again, all these are anonymous with no contact to any of them. I'm just saying that I'm super evil. And that you shouldn't talk to me. Let's see what's this. Tempted. Admitted to targeting transgender women for scamming. This is the next point. I think I can show this. Maybe not. Like, cut out the last part. Sorry, I don't think I can show this one actually, because it's a bad word. <laughs> it basically says that I admit to posting a fake pic used for scamming word I can't say, which I did use fake pictures. 
but it wasn't for scamming. It was just for like, I tried to make trans people feel bad at the time. Like I did do that six years ago when I was an edgy kid. Obviously it was like not a good thing to do. Like I regret it, but again, I was just being a really edgy kid trying to do like the most, I don't know, edgy things possible. I don't think I ever scammed any, any of them. But we have different skimming allegations to go through later. Okay, so this is the main part. This is where most of like the really bad stuff is said. And this is the part that's super easy. Hold on, let me close this just in case. Super easy to disprove. So I don't know what this is. I'm just memeing, so I don't know why they put that together. All right, so this is where they, we saw this Reddit thread. We just looked at it. Um, basically, Savinka was heavily involved in the online cult named Kaliak under the identity of Sonia, according to them. And the only two like evidences of that is the fact of a random Instagram account, which is admitted to be fake, and this one Reddit thread where one guy happens to just throw my name into it randomly. But it's, we'll get to that in a bit. Kelly was a racist cult that held neo-Nazi beliefs as well. A lot of people to join their cult if they had low BMI. People in this Discord group started, stated that if they were invited to this chat, they'd be intrigued to post pictures, bullied, and then shamed for the looks and weight. Again, I have no idea if any of this is true about them. I knew what the group was. But I had no part of it at all, other than knowing, like, what it is. The common states that the cult was led by individuals named Mia and Sonia. I think that's true, but I have no idea. Well, it is run by Mia. I don't know about Sonia. I'm pretty sure they're the same person. Go through this. Okay. This is just more... They're just describing, like what the Kaliak stuff did. Again, it doesn't mention me, I don't think, at all in the original post. Make sure it's safe. Okay, here's the one post, the one fucking comment where this guy just randomly throws my name, Piety Char Savinka, and then when we looked at their account, it was a fresh account that only posted that. So yeah, not very strong evidence, but we have m way more evidence, so it doesn't really matter. Let me make sure this is safe. Okay, so there's just like some image of like blood, I don't know what that is. Again, I have not related to it, so it doesn't really matter. It says, me herself, Charlotte Fink, in terms of Piety Fink, was heavily involved with Kaliak. Okay. So this is like today. I guess. Clearly, <laughs> they're saying, yeah, it was all piety. Hmm. I guess that means it's true. But we have proof of that. Anyway, so it doesn't really matter that they said that. Because I can bring it up. One sec. I should just leave this up, I guess. Here we go. We just find I have a lot of these. Okay, so the very first thing, Kaliak, as we mentioned earlier, is now called Romilia Corporation. They rebranded. Who runs it? Charlotte Fang. They just mentioned them. Who was Charlotte Fang? I wonder. It was Mia, they themselves said, back in 2022. I wonder if the person that made this document did any research at all. The answer is no. 
Hmm, I wonder who Charlotte Fang, aka Mia, is. Let's find out. Hmm, there's Sonia. The person that all of this, all of this is tied to, me being Sonia. It's not even me. And you didn't, you couldn't find this in the Google search? Like, how fucking dumb are you? Anyways, this random thread, which is the hate thread about Mia, is a whole other thing. Proves that they were Sonia, the Mia was Sonia, and they just changed their name. There's a lot more in this, you can look at the thread yourself here. This random crypto guy. There's a whole bunch on Kaliak. Some of it <laughs> is in this fucking document, by the way, that they tried to use against me, so they definitely looked at it, you'd assume. But perhaps not very well. There's a lot, so you can look at that yourself if you want. Okay, we'll continue on. Let me just make sure it's still safe to look. Okay, here's a post. Svinka confirms in her Discord server that she was affiliated with Kaliak. Again, we looked at this already. We were just literally just talking about it. We were talking about cults at the time, online cults, and we mentioned it. You can go back and look. But conveniently, they cut all of that context out and just posted this. Which doesn't even really prove what they're saying anyway, but... Whatever. They randomly show, like, I haven't said a slur in five years, which is true. I don't say slurs anymore. I don't know why they, they posted this with this, but whatever. Because I guess the person that made this is incompetent. Okay, make sure this is safe too. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Okay, this is safe. Here's me and Lucas. We're just joking about it. You can see in the fucking link, Milady, which we just talked about, aka Romilia Corporation, people that made Milady, founder, is tied with suicide cult. Hmm. Who's the founder? It's Mia. The person we just fucking looked at. It's in your fucking own evidence that you used against me. And it's right there. Like, did you even, like, try? Alright, let's move on. Again, I'm just talking about cult shit again. Like, we're still just talking about it. See where he has a cult. Is this not evidence? We're clearly joking. And again, we were talking about it. Alright, and here's... Kaliak Sonia was affiliated with pedophilia and grooming. Again, I'm not Kaliak or Sonia, and I'm not affiliated in any way with them. As they've already proved. So I don't know why they put this here. But whatever. Here's a Twitter thread about another cult and related NFT cult. That I was linked with. They have no proof that I was linked to it. The only proof is that I was Sonia, which we just proved wasn't me. So none of this is true at all. But they could have figured that out if they did any actual research and wasn't just random Instagram and like screenshots. They just added to it at random. Anyways, I don't know what the fuck this is. Some like estrogen? <laughs> I don't know why they put this here. I have no idea. This is just randomly here. Okay. And here's another Sony thing from Instagram that was, in its own words, probably fake. And also, not related to me in any way. Are you reading that? Sorry. I don't, I don't, maybe I just didn't read it all. I, I have no idea what any of this means. Some estrogen thing, I don't know. You guys can figure it out. Anyway, this isn't me, so I don't know why this matters. I've already proved it. Remember that's Svinka Sonia. Except I'm not. 
You're just dumb. Here we go. What's this next one? Let me make sure it's safe. Again, more Sonya screenshots, which aren't even me, so I don't know why they're included. Make sure it's all safe. Okay, there's just more Mia stuff. Again, I'm not Mia, we've already proven it. I'm not sitting here Mia, there's people like a random Discord screenshot that I'm not in. So I don't know why this has to do with anything. And some like more Mia stuff. Are there proof linking? Alright, let's see it. They link to a Reddit account, which is Social View, which I use for my alt streams. And if you look on this Reddit account, which I don't know if it's still up or not, I'll look. It's literally just me looking for League. I guess they included it because it had the name Mia in it, but it doesn't really make sense. So I'll go look it up anyway. Also banned on Reddit <laughs> for ban evasion. Okay, I think this is safe. I don't know why it's saying it's not. Yeah, this is safe. Okay. It's literally just me looking for friends to play League with <laughs> and asking questions about League. There's nothing... I don't know why they linked this. I guess just because it had me in its name. And that's like... Somehow evidence to them. Okay. Let's see what else they have. Did I find friends? No, they all sucked. Oh, they literally just linked it. He's saying it was Challenger. I'm not sorry about Mia. Again, it's not me, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> they throw up a fucking, uh... Urban Dictionary link as evidence of what it is. Again, I don't know why, but what that matters. They put it in there. Again, this is all related to Kaliak, which I'm not a part of, and I've already proven I'm not related to in any way, so I don't know. Okay, here's a random screenshot of text. Saying that they were part of it. Again, it doesn't mention me at all. It's just Kaliak. You know, they brainwashed members. I have no idea if they actually did this. I'm not a part of it, so I have no idea. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I don't really care, because it has nothing to do with me. Again, they... They say I'm involved with it, even though I wasn't. In any way. Let me make sure this is still safe. Okay, this is further proof, they said, that I was involved with it. Ironically, it kind of disproves that. So again, this is from the same Instagram account that was also fake. And it shows one person saying, invite piety. That kind of proves I'm not even in whatever this is, if they have to invite me to it. So why did you put this here? Like, we knew of each other. We were, we were not, like, related at all. Again, they post this again. Saying, don't ask me what I did with piety. I'm making a reference and a joke about my past. Which is obviously kind of edgy, but... You know. Who cares? Alright, what's this? Even more proof. So Vinka posted this in her Discord. I posted an image. This is an image of, I don't know how to say that, a woman who murdered someone with a knife. This is the woman in the face of Kaliak, that's true, sort of. Once it became a different cult related to Mia, renamed Vermilion House. First of all, it's not true. This is the Mia personification, like Twitter account, like the person named Mia. Had this as a profile picture. I posted it because we were talking about the cult again. And 
This is even true. They didn't rename to Remilia House. They were they renamed to fucking Milady and Remilia Corporation. Don't know why they even called it that. But again, <laughs> I'm not Mia. I'm not related to Kalyak at all. We were just talking about it. It makes no fucking sense. Having Mia in a Reddit account is really strange. It's because I liked the name Mia. And I've used like Mia as like, like the persona of Mia. It's like stream titles. Like I liked their Twitter before they got banned. But I'm not them. It's just literally a name for an alt Reddit account. Here's the, what's it called? Uh, like the website. I don't know why this is here or what this has to do with anything. It's like the name change. I don't know. I'm just shit posting about it. I think this is all fine. Like, it's just Kaliak stuff. Again, I'm not related to Kaliak at all. Okay. The other one is Techno was saying it was about Kaliak and the name of Sonia, which we proved wasn't me. And I'm not associated with it at all. He has confirmed that Piety was involved with Kaliak, which we proved was not true. So here's the catfishing stuff. Sydney so has a long history of taking pictures of random Asian Russian women on the internet and impersonating them. So this one is just a misunderstanding, for the most part. During like the beginning, I did catfish with as other people. I think they show it here. Actually, let me go back. One sec. Let's make sure it's safe. Okay. Just scroll down a little bit more to it. I think they show it. Here it is. So during this era, this is Char. This is when I very first started posting. I pretend to be this person. And then when I switch name to Piety, I pretend to be this person. And I just include all this random stuff. It doesn't really matter. I did do that when I was a kid. <laughs> and why I did it was because I was saying super edgy things, so I'm obviously not going to use real pictures of myself. This person, I have no idea who this is. They just threw it into the image. And then apparently I'm, I was catfishing all these like random people, which isn't true, which we'll get into in a second. So let's go back up. So here's my red post. Who cares? Now my Twitter post where I post random people. Apparently this is me catfishing, even though they're a different person every single time, I make a stream announcement. How they're pretending to be these people, it's just an inside joke, which I can prove. Yet again. In a second. It's basically an inside joke with a stream where every girl that's an Asian girl that's 5'4 is me. And look, I am Savinka. Everyone in the fucking links is posting random Asian girls that are 5'4 saying, I am Savinka. It's a fucking inside joke. Obviously, I'm not any of these people. I just use it for my stream when I make posts. Again, unless you're fucking like, actually racist and you can't tell these are different people every single one of these is a different person i'm not trying to pretend i am them if you thought that you're retarded i guess anyways it's also been from just <laughs> i mean that's kind of true i was banned from heel slut but it wasn't because of that it was because um this is like kind of off topic, but some guy sent me his dick and I made fun of it and he reported me for underage. And the only way to get unbanned is if you show ID. But again, who cares? Here it is. I think it's been probably banned for being potentially underage. And when I didn't prove it, I was banned, which is completely fine. Who cares? I didn't do that. I'm not sorry. Here's me as piety. Posting as piety. Is, I don't know if this is like meant to. Before I changed the name to piety, but 
This was the, the girl I used for piety. Okay, this one's pretty funny. <laughs> Fucking e Palin. So this one's obviously not meant to be serious. I don't know if you could tell about the giant fucking tits in the image. I'm clearly just fucking around. I mean, I guess it's considered catfishing, but I mean, I, I don't care and I would do it again. I thought it was funny and I still think it, still think it was. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, anyways. Uh... I changed my name again. So I think I was also involved with catfishing in the Roblox community. That is true, but in a different way. The Roblox content creator named Shirafin and Clutter with Sinko using Savinka's voice to catfish, catfish people. That is true. There was a, <laughs> a Roblox fucking YouTuber that commissioned me to pretend to be them, and I just recorded the, like, the, the voiceover for all of it. They paid me like $100 and like fucking Subway gift cards. And I just bought like leak skins with it. Because you could, uh. What's it called? You could like use Subway gift cards as money. Here, if you claims confession document, there's purchase, I guess, was proof of it. Again, I already, like, said, like, they did it. They commissioned me. I don't care. I thought it was funny. Also, don't see why it matters, but whatever. And then they link to a VOD of Shirafina's streaming league playing Riven. So this is when they, they pay me to do a live stream to make it more believable that it was them. But eventually it was found out that it was me, which I have proof of, which I don't know why I need to prove it, but I'll do it anyway because it's kind of funny. Let's see. This is a really old VOD of me. Apologies for like the quality. This is a long time ago, four years ago, by the way. Playing fucking TFT. <laughs> it's not normally like this. It's just people recently found out a person I did voice acting was catfishing them. That's all. There's a lot of people from that right now. So this is when I was being raided. I know it's a bit weird out of context, but basically they found my channel and. That's how they found out that Shirafin, it wasn't them, it was me doing the voice for him, and it caused a whole, like, drama for it. Again, I don't know why this matters, but they included it, so whatever. There's another part of it. I think it's me admitting to it. Oh my god, this mic is awful. This was a while ago. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. It's me. It was Pepsi. How long is this video? It was like two minutes. Whatever, we'll just go through it. Why would you bulk buy accounts? Who the fuck buys accounts in bulk? What's the point? I think it was when people found out. Much? I hate that beside you. Good morning. <laughs> Rebulking, hell yeah. See, Shira is mentioned. I like. I've been suspended, but I haven't, like, uh. What's it called? Shira Fune is a person I voice act for. Yeah, I'm not sure if you may just do the voice. See? <laughs> Powerful. So there's pretty real and watch the whole thing. I did the voice. I don't know why they included this. Because they doubted that I was them. Or like, I did the voice. I don't know what the fuck the point of this was. They just included it. For no reason again. Okay. What's next? Here we go. So here's more anonymous posting. Saying that I'm a doctor. Now these folders actually are real, but there was never anything in them, and I just used them as like an idle threat to like 
make myself seem scary. Again, this was way back in 2018. This is still during my edgy phase. I'm trying to like make myself seem scarier than I actually am. I never actually doxed anyone. I never tried to. It didn't really do anything. All these people saying I did were just making shit up. They never proved it. Yet again, when they could have. It's just people typing that I did. Some of them might even be me because I did a lot of hate on my own self to make myself have more attention. So, I don't know. What's this one? So this is a Crystal Cafe, looks like. I don't know why they quit this one. This is just me. Again, this, I guess this is related to this. I got banned from Crystal Cafe, which is like a a girl-only 4chan adjacent board, sort of. And I got banned because they found out about this, which wasn't real, but I, uh, you know, I kept threatening them with it anyway. And so I asked to get bit back and like unbanned, but they didn't, and that's literally it. This is them complaining about it. Again, there's no proof I actually did anything because I didn't. Okay, what's next? Ow. Can't show this because it has bad words. It's just more of. I think it's just literally the same screenshot, actually. Okay, they just reposted the same screenshots again, but like in a different order now. I don't know why they did that. But it's literally this. <laughs> it's literally this, but in a different order. Okay, so what's, what's next? Log cow stuff. Lockout thread allegations. I'm raising allegations made about Svenko and her lockout thread, and not all of these can be verified. Hmm. But based on Pierre's evidence that's already been presented, which was wrong, about Svenko's despicable actions, we can assume some of it to be true. Okay. Animal abuse. I never harmed animals. It was just me shitposting and pretending I did, again, for attention. There's also zero proof I did. There's no images, which you think there would be if I actually did any of that. And ironically, at the time when I was like saying all that shit, no one believed me and they wanted proof, which I couldn't give because I didn't do it. But now, seven years later, they believe it with no proof. Uh, I pretend to be transgender for attention. I did do that. That's true. I don't know if these two are like equivalent and bad, but I did do that. And it was bad to do that. To be fair. But, I mean, compared to this, I don't know. Uh, anonymously submitted regarding, oh, of course, it's anonymous. I don't really have any proof of this. <sighs> Yet again. <laughs> no proof of it. This being a person also used to go by Root and Smite. That's true. I do go by Root and Smite. I tried to get three of my friends to self harm and torture animals. Okay. And all this stuff that they're being accused of. <laughs> Just all of it. One of my friends, he was a minor at the time. Oh, he's also a minor. And being groomed. I told him to message you about it when they woke up. And Okay, I don't know. And I guess this is what they sent them? I don't know what. I'm looking at is this me or them or who it doesn't make any sense because everything she did with them she did with me but i was rated bro caught i don't know what this means until you have been on the spectrum i was but i didn't want to kill animals and kill myself okay so well, this proves literally nothing because i don't know what any of it means here's me being super edgy and saying like, i want to kill people and I never care about death, I even harming animals. Again, this is just me being edgy, clearly. This is also written seven years ago when I was a, a little edgy kid. All right, here, what's next? So here's me recently posting this, I guess. 
Spring has refuted his claims saying that she did those things for shock value and never actually did. Or said those things, yeah. And that's true. I said I tortured animals and killed and wanted to kill people and stuff six years ago on an anonymous board. Clearly, it wasn't serious. There's no images of me doing it or anything. It's completely made up. Alright, what's the next point? Redirects and refuses Angel personal questions. Obviously. I mean, <laughs> why is this even a point? Okay. Allegedly targeted trans women on fortune to try and take advantage of their low self esteem and easier to manipulate. What I did was try to make them feel bad by posting as a, a cis girl to make them like feel like uglier about themselves. Which, to be fair, was bad. I shouldn't have done that. But again, I was a little educated. And it was a long time ago. Allegedly scam people with fake photos. That's sort of true. I would like scam people in like MMOs and like pedophiles and shit, but not with like, not trans people specifically. Or pressure people to cut. How old was I? I don't remember, six years ago? How old was I? Like 15? I try not to say too much about myself, but... I was a teen, like a young teen. Encourage other people... Encourage other people, including teenagers, to self-harm for speakers and players. This is a reference to the Caliac stuff, which again... I'm not related to the kind of stuff as we've proven. Personally, several women on their social media accounts, I guess if you consider what I did as impersonating, even though I never said any of them were me, and it's an inside joke of the stream, then sure, I guess I did that. Swatted individuals. What? That's not even mentioned anywhere. They just threw this in. There wasn't a single point where that's mentioned. They just randomly added it. I've never swatted anyone, obviously. That's illegal. I don't know why they put this here. And then again, involved with Kaliak, which we've proven was not true. And here's all my social media. Social media accounts. Regardless of whether Savinka Chino in the tournament is good, this person is a pattern of dangerous behavior. As we've proven, pretty much 95% of this was just copy and pasted from a Lokau hate thread, which is basically just Kiwi farms, but for people that were banned on 4chan. And most of it is just either not true or it's just me being edgy. So, like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's all of it. Okay, explain the Sonia and Kaliak stuff again. Did I not explain it well? Go back. Basically, the only mention of me being tied to Kaliak is me, one, talking about it in my Discord when we're talking about fucking online cults. Two, in this random Reddit thread, when an account, which only made one post, which is the post about me somehow being tied to it, this one, as you can see, two, the owner themselves admitting that they were fucking Sonia. Not, well, they admit they're Mia, and then there's a whole expose on them, because they have their, their own little drama going on. Who they are, Sonia is Mia. And not me. I'm not Sonia at all. And that was like their proof tying me to like 90% of it. So most of it is just not true. I was edgy in the past as a kid, and I've already admitted to it. None of this was a secret. And so on.
Something else to be missed. I guess we're talking about the leak stuff. If people really care about that. But I'm pretty sure it just says basically the account was shared, which it was. And I got the account back in fucking like three or four years ago. And I've had it ever since. And then the cheating allegations were just... I don't know. I guess we can talk about the cheating allegations. In my opinion, I think the cheating allegations were just retarded. Like, you don't... Because this is all before any of this was ever, like, known. I was accused before they knew about my background. They accused me from my map placement in a VOD where I was playing on PBE and it was on the right side. And he didn't know. So it's like... And then they... It's, whole, it's really complicated, I guess. Yeah, but then they made it about, like, my background. And that, like, gave them reason to expect I was cheating more, I guess. But the main problem is that they wanted me to play with a hand cam, which in itself is completely fine. The problem I had with it was... While we were talking about this, Tarzan, I assume it was Tarzan, I don't actually know if it was, I didn't check, leaked all of this drama stuff of my past. While we're talking about it still. As context. But he then messages me, Dante's, and says, you can play despite everything, as long as you play with a, you did not, alright, then I apologize if it wasn't you. Someone did, though. But uh, whoever it was, it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Um, sorry, I lost track. What was I talking about? Anyway, yeah, they wanted me to do a hand cam, which in itself is fine. But it's like... All of it was already exposed, and he, Dante himself, DM'd me, and was like, We know it doesn't prove anything, but we want you to do it anyway, and he was going to just tell everyone that it was me playing, even though it doesn't prove anything, and it was completely pointless. Because you don't even know what my hands look like. So I'm just like, and with the drama happening in the background as well, I'm just like, this is fucking pointless. I'm just not going to. And my team was okay with it at the time. I'd have to be in like a server with them. But it doesn't really matter. You can ask him. We'll probably admit to it. Yeah, he admitted that it was just to save face, basically. And to like protect me, I guess. But at that point, like, it was, it was just completely pointless. I'm not gonna like let him lie for me for no reason. It was more of like a moral choice than like. But regardless, I talked to my team and like we're fine. If you don't want to do it, it was unreasonable. And that's the reason I decided not to. And that's pretty much all the weak stuff, I think. Is there anything else I missed? Some people are saying you can you coerce the team. I told them to play without me. I told them multiple times that they should just play without me, and I wanted them to continue. Can you post the picture? Can the pictures of the cutting? Yeah, one sec. Let me go back. I thought I went over that though. What is the account name? Social so Mia? Because I like the name Mia. And again, like, I know who Mia is. I've even used some of, like, their, their Twitter posts as, like, uh, stream titles and shit. I think they're funny. 
but I'm not them, as we've already proven. Did you go by another name other than the ones I mentioned? When? No, what I said was, so I think this is what you're referencing, is the fact that they put like all of their like thoughts on this document, they just, they didn't even include Sonia in the first fucking post where they mentioned all my names. Like right here. Like they mentioned all the names, don't mention Sonia, which is like 90% of the arguments for everything. Again, even me, when I post it, I don't mention Sonia because I'm not them. I never have said I was them. And the only proof that I was them is a random guy on Reddit and a screenshot on Instagram that was fake. And then them saying that I was, like recently. And then we prove that they were them the whole time. What's his name, Natalie? I went like by Natalie, but it's not really mentioned in this. The account was shared by three people. I don't remember what it was challenging. It was active like season one through like five or something like that. But I got the account in like season what, four years ago, whatever season that was. Oh yeah, the cutting stuff. Let's go back to that. Sorry. Feel free to ask other stuff as well. If you don't mind. Let me look for this again. The community sucks. That's not true. A lot of people are really nice. And I don't blame anyone for like all this. Like it's not it's no one's fault but my own. I was an edgy kid. I just feel like the document is very obviously like badly made. I'm 24. And love is just like lying or like misinformation or incompetence or malice. Which part am I misconstruing? Because the only part he even knows about is the, the hand cam part. I felt like I was pretty accurate when describing it. This has been more of like stuff related to it, but it's like the main part of it. Some highly playable or saying you're a ribbon player? I still play ribbon. Would you have streamed on Discord starting OBS on Discord stream? What do you mean? I'm not sure I understand. Open Discord, stream to Dante Street, put you the one streaming. Did that prove anything? Oh, like my hands? Is that what you mean? I'm a little confused. Like the problem wasn't the hands. Like in itself. Like I had no problem like showing my hands or whatever. The problem was the reason for doing so 
I didn't think was very fair. I don't think there's enough proof that it wasn't me playing. Because if you just look at the VODs and me playing, like, I'm not a fucking challenger. It doesn't make any sense. As well as the fact that, like, no one knows what my hands look like. Content to his girlfriend before going live and screen share. That was never offered to me. But, I mean, sure, I would have done that. I'm not sure if that would have proven anything, though. There's also someone that, like, made an allegation about, like, my VTuber model? Like, I had different VTuber models. Whoever made that one was just, like, really retarded. I have multiple models. I wasn't high elo in Season 10. I don't even think I played the game in Season 10. Yeah, I'm just, I don't really know how to prove anything, really, without, like, doxing myself. Which I wasn't willing to do, or in my opinion, wasn't very good reasons or convincing reasons. Do you just want to see my keyboard hands and water? Yeah, like, I, I was completely fine with that. Like, that wasn't the problem at all. I just didn't think the reasons were fair, and when I talked to my team, they agreed at the time. And... We decided not to play, basically. But, like, if... I don't know. I mean, the whole situation is pretty fucked. I don't, like, blame anyone for it, really. It's, like, it's still, like, mostly my fault. Is look how the Kiwi Farms knock off? Pretty much. It's just not banned. Yet. Yeah, they're shut down. Kiwi Farms did. I know Raven and Wizard Tower? I don't know what that is. Sorry. Wait, no, I do. When did I get it? Like four years ago, something like that. But, anyways. I just kept trying to explain to Dante's, like, it's just so unfeasible, in my opinion, that I was cheating. If you just watch my VODs, I literally played, like, fucking, let's see, like, one sec, how many games I play? Oh no, just so many fucking scrims. I even stopped my stream to do it. Like, how would I convince someone to play for me and act like that? Also in, like, fucking one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's just... It seems so ridiculous. Like, maybe it's just me? I don't know. No, Tarsh didn't disqualify. It wasn't his fault. He didn't do anything. I thought he was the one that leaked it, but if he wasn't, then... Like, he doesn't deserve any hate at all. Who's still Mia? That's my Reddit account, where I posted about League. I don't know. That's like, that's my opinion on stuff, I think. You're ignoring this message. What was the message? Post it again. I'm sorry. 
There's a lot of people asking questions. The party kind of things. Oh yeah, they take back to that. Let me pull it back up. I can find it again. Oh yeah, here it is. It's like we move it over. It's definitely not safe to show. So what about it? Uh, here we are. We diminish the individuals mutilating piety, not only onto their body, graphic, but not click, and then the like trans stuff. Like I said before, this is a random anonymous thing of just people linking an image of people supposedly doing it. And then one of them isn't even cutting, it's just someone drawing. And then there's like a random cut with out of context. And there's just people in the chat say, or not chat, like in the text saying, Piety's evil. Yeah. That's what we're talking about right now. Well, the one where it's just like a fucking drawing. I mean, they obviously did it. But I never told anyone to. And then the fourth image is just literally just a marker. What about the mix? I just, we just talked about it. Can you prove a Sonia is in piety? And the piety is me. We already proved that. I mean, I can prove it again, I guess. Or you can go back in the VOD. Can you explain the Blue Whale cult stuff? We already went over it. I'm pretty sure we went through every part. What about the fact we just talked about this again? Check DM. Yeah, I don't, this is just a meme image. What am I doing from fourth year? It's the same stuff I always do. The only reason I even made this is because I don't think my team deserved any of like, the problems that came with playing with me. said that you were piety, yes. There was something saying Sonia was piety. Yeah, we already went over that, but I guess we'll go over it again. Wrong image. One sec. So here is the... Where is it? Here's the fucking post. There's only two references to me being Sonia. Again, one of them is this. From a random Reddit thread, a random person decided to say that I used to go by Piety Svenkachara. It's not true. I've never called myself Sonia. The person that made the document even has multiple screenshots of me showing all the usernames I went by. Conveniently, Sonia, Sonia is not one of them. Here's the person that made the post. 
they're f like a fake account or like a a one post account. Here's another drama regarding Mia, which is the person that made Kaliak. They're also the person that made Romilly Corporation and Milady. Here's them saying that they are Mia. They're admitting to it in a post because they had a whole bunch of drama regarding their NFT thing and they found out that they were Mia. Here is proof the guy that's like did all this, all this information. Proof that Sonia is Mia. Not me. There you go. So what else did you say? You can't say that the person said you were someone three years ago unless they really hated you. I mean, they can say it, it just doesn't mean anything. And I already proved that I'm not. Why would people be talking about me? Because I have a fucking low cal hate thread and stalkers. It doesn't come up like that often, but it does come up. Mia is not a good person. And why is Mia? Because Mia is a Twitter personality. This is before any of that stuff. I still think they're funny, regardless of whatever bad shit they may have done, which I don't know if it's true or not. I don't really care. And so I use it on a Reddit account where I post league questions. On page 12, it says Sonia's piety. That's the document saying that. I don't think I am, obviously, because I'm not. Docu I didn't make the document. This is them trying to say they are me with no, like, there's only evidence against it and none for it. It's all just an aesthetic. Yeah. Like maybe I shouldn't have done it. But I mean I don't really care. It's like a meme. Yeah, Seb, it's fine, don't worry about it. Anyways, I think that's most of everything. I think I explained most of it. Can you say the n-word? No. I don't know, I think that's everything though. even to end stream now. Hopefully I explained most of it. Sorry for all the problems I caused the tournament to Dante himself. Damn, I already lost my message. You're still funny to me. Well, obviously I don't find the racist stuff funny. But they have a bunch of other things that are funny. If you don't understand that, I don't know. You can separate the quote art from the artist. At least I can. Maybe you can't. I don't know. I think it's a bit nuanced, but... Again, I'm not them and that was the main like 90% of the document. You've already talked about this Twitter post.
Regardless, I have no ill will to anyone, and I hope everyone continues to have fun with the tournament, and so on. And I hope my team has, well, I guess I'm not playing anymore, but, you know, I'm sorry to my team, basically. So yeah, I'll see you guys whenever next time. Goodbye.